Hi, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this potato bag. I found this pattern on one of the Facebook groups and I thought it's cute, so I would like to make it. Original creator of this potato bag is Mini Gurumi. I linked their free pattern in the description of this video, so you can download it if you want to. I am also going to leave timestamps in the description down below. As you can see here, it's a pretty short pattern. To make this crochet pack, you need to know how to make a slip knot, chain, how to do a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. You also need to know how to do a slip stitch. I am going to use a 3.5mm crochet hook, stitch markers and darning needle. For the body, I'm going to use Rikurumi cotton yarn in color number 55. For the tongue, I picked a Hobby Rainbow 8x4 in color number 45. Dark brown I'm going to use is also Hobby Rainbow 8x4. It's color number 7 and I'm going to crochet with double strand with this yarn. You'll also need some kind of stuffing. Piece of black yarn and safety eyes. If you don't want to use safety eyes, you can use black yarn instead. I'm going to start with making body parts first, so I can sew them on as I go, instead of worrying about them later. We start with ears in dark brown. To make them, we have to start with a slip knot, then we chain two, and do half double crochets in both chain loops. Next step is feet. We have to make four of them. To make one foot, you have to chain two and then do a half double crochet in second loop from the hook. After you make 4 feet, it's time to make a muzzle. We need to chain 4 and then 2 double crochets in the first chain. In next loop we are going to do a slip stitch, then repeat 2 double crochets in one loop and a slip stitch.
Last part before we make the body is a tongue. Similarly to the legs, you chain two and then do a half double crochet in second loop from the hook. Pattern calls for thinner yarn for the tongue, so I used a single strand of hobby rainbow. Finally, we can move on to making the body. Instead of doing magic ring, I'm going to use magic ring alternative. I'm going to chain two and then do six single crochets into second loop from the hook. I wanted to show it in this video in case you have trouble with magic ring slash magic circle. It's an easier method to start a circle, but I have to warn you that it's not as tight as magic ring, so you can have a little bit of a gap. In second round we have to make 6 increases. To make one increase you simply do 2 single crochets in one stitch. After I'm done with this step I'm going to place a stitch marker in last stitch of this round so I can easily track where I am. Third round is one increase and one single crochet, repeat all around. Brackets are missing in this part, so it's important to remember that we have to repeat this step until the end of the round instead of doing one increase and six single crochets. Round 4 is 1 increase and then 2 single crochets, repeat 6 times. Round 5 is the last round of increases. In this round we do one increase, then three single crochets and repeat that till the end of the round.
Next up we have rounds 6 through 16, so 11 rounds of single crochets all around. Because we only do single crochets, it will start to curl up. I'm going to cut this part short and only show you the key moments, because I'm going to start attaching body parts while I'm making those rounds. As you can see here, I placed additional stitch markers where ears and eyes should be. For ears it's between row 4 and 5, and for the eyes it's between row 7 and 8. I'm going to place safety eyes now, and to figure out their placement I used muzzle as a guide. If you are using safety eyes, as I do in this project, make sure to secure them tightly and don't give this toy to toddlers or pets who can chew on them, even though you have to pull hard to detach them after they are attached. Well, accidents happen and we don't want any accidents. It's safe to say that safety eyes are only safe by their name. If you plan to make a toy for a baby or your pet, it's better to embroider the eyes than use the safety eyes. After I attached the safety eyes, I continued crocheting till round 14. We made it to round 14. Now it's time to sew on the muzzle, nose and the tongue. Next we have to figure out placement for the eyes. They should be between around 4 and 5 and they are around one stitch away from the eyes when you're looking vertically. I didn't have assembly instructions from the pattern to sew on legs, but I figured they should be a row away from the muzzle below the eyes. I attached remaining two legs after I finished my rounds of single crochets and started decreasing. In round 17 we start decreasing. Standard decrease goes through both loops of the stitch, but I prefer to do invisible decrease even if pattern doesn't call for it. Invisible decrease is similar, but the only difference is that you only pull yarn through front loop. I made this short clip to show you the difference, but I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. I hope you can. First I did regular decrease and now I'm going to do invisible decrease. It's not completely invisible, but it helps to hide the gap. In this case it's a matter of preference. In round 17 we are going to do one decrease and then three single crochets. Repeat six times. Round number 18 is one decrease and two single crochets till the end of the round. After this round we are going to attach remaining legs, a little bit wider than the top legs. I did it between round 17 and 18. Then I stuffed the toy and continued to close up the body. Round 19 is one decrease and one single crochet all around. Last round is decreases all around. After you're done with round 20, use darning needle to close the toy shut and hide the remaining strand of yarn inside of the body. And there we have it, Potato Pack Amigurumi by Minigurumi. 
I hope that you liked this quick and easy project. If you have any suggestions or questions, especially about this pattern, feel free to ask in comments down below. You can also tag me on Instagram if you made this toy. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY content. See you in my next video, bye!